Hello and welcome to another episode of me painting again. Oh yeah, we're painting again. I've got my black pad up and I uh, really like using the black card actually. It's just a black card sketchbook that I got. Um, some people I think use them as uh, scrapbooks really and they put their photos on these but <laughs> I like to paint on them. So I've got a few colours, some titanium white some cerulean blue, some ultramarine blue, sap green, some ye lemon yellow and some alizarin crimson. Now you can make a warmer yellow using the lemon yellow and the crimson and you get your orange and you can make almost like a uh, cadmium yellow deep or something like that, something like this. So you can warm up lemon yellow like that, or you can use it as a cool yellow, the way it is. Anyway, let us uh, let's just start painting, really. <laughs> Going to do a waterfall today. I'm going to have a bit of fun, be a bit creative. A little bit of blue, a little bit of white. So imagine... Uh, Imagine we've got water coming from maybe there. Maybe we'll start off there and it's it's flowing down here. So what I'm gonna do is try and keep things blue and cool <laughs> nice and blue and cool up the up here and then we'll start putting a bit more light in it later on but at the moment it's gonna be a little bluey because I want that light from above to be hitting some of these areas Sort of like that, and then maybe there there's a, a good, uh, good decent piece that goes <sighs> falls down a bit stronger. Splashing. And bit that goes down there. How's that going down there? Going on top of all these different rocks and stuff. Maybe that's sort of like little dots almost. You get with the water you you can get you get these dots if you do like a uh, a photo when you have a fast shutter. <laughs> you tend to get all these little dots like that. Might use a uh, smaller brush for some of this. Use this brush might create myself a bit of a green as well so I want a green with that warm yellow I'm thinking about mossy areas on the rocks so maybe there's some like moss there no I'm not, a bit of rock there Go, sort of go like this down there, and then the moss can fall down there. It'd be 
both sides of that. Could have like a moss growing. Can decide right there, I want some leaves as well. Bringing in a little bit of light down there, and then at the back, we can indicate some sort of growth. Don't really want it to be too bright at the back there. do with uh, a bit of dark as well actually so what I might do so if I've got some dark color I can can start improving things as I go <laughs> areas that I don't really like I can change them using my dark just a little bit of uh, blue and brown I'm starting to dislike this bit here, so I'm going to get rid of it. <laughs> Easy as that. And I can use this to create a bit of a, a rock area, but I don't want it to be too light, just a bit of brown, a bit of blue, just sprayed my paint with some of this just to stop it from drying out. I think that's a little bit too much there. So I'll just break that up a little bit. Preferring that a bit better, I was sort of losing what I wanted to create. So then, uh, as we go down, got that. I'm gonna have a thin piece of water going there, and then uh, have that breaking here. over the top of that and this can sort of come down to there and then up some blue in my colour.
grab some dark. Just grab a bit of dark colour here. Bit of blue, bit of brown, bit of red. And I can start putting some rock in there. You can start you start building your your land up a bit, start making areas that you want. I think I might bring that in a bit. I'm just kind of making this up as I go along a bit. <laughs> I'm just looking at it and seeing what I would prefer and then changing it. And there's areas that I think could be changed and made to look a little bit better. Like, uh, I thought maybe the water could go along there instead. And then behind there, and I've got sort of an area where it starts now as well. Which is good, and then I can drop bits of art down that bit. Maybe there's a bit more going down there, flowing into this bit. Maybe there's a bit of a bit of mist going up there from all that spray. And then I can always put some rock in front of it from where this goes down. I can shore that up. <laughs> starting to sort of create land and there's land here and here and you can create like the where the the lights hit in and then afterwards I can uh, put the water on it so I can imagine the water's dropping down there and psh, splashing and then falling down there maybe there Maybe it's coming down here and then down here and then down there, falling all the way down to there. And Just move my camera a little bit. <laughs> Just uh, the water's flown down a little bit further than I was expecting. <laughs> down even this could have another one going maybe it all splashes into an area down here that'll be good
just going to grab some of that dark again. Have maybe a bit of dark here. Maybe have a bit of the uh, moss there growing down that. Bit of sap green going along there. Bit of that warm yellow. Maybe there's a rock, got a little bit more of that colour there. hitting that. <laughs> there is now, aren't there? Try and get rid of some of it. Just use my finger just to get rid of some because it's a little bit too overpowering I reckon. Yeah, that's a bit better. green growing along this get a bit of dark, I just want to get rid of some of them I don't want it to be the same stands out a bit too much so So what I might do just gonna w just wash in my brush. Mm. Just getting a little bit more of the white and blue on this brush this time. Just sort of looking at areas that can be a bit improved. Splash there. Just doing a little bit more to this. side some sort of trees find if I use the corner of the brush and just sort of 
touch it here and there just to get that shape that's all I really need is that a tree imagine the tree and then try and I'm doing a bit of an impression of where the leaves are and stuff I think with these sort of uh, cam well canvases I say <laughs> these sort of um, black card you can kind of uh, you can be really subtle with what you're doing you can really you really can it's a, it's a good fun way of painting I think I've always liked doing like the black canvases and things. Bit more light. A little bit more light on some of these bits. And then what I'm thinking of doing is uh, adding a bit of light in the water now. Really going for it with the liner. <laughs> Create myself a, uh, a sunshine colour really, some yellow, red and white. Quite a lot of paint as well because I want it to be thick and the thicker the paint the better <laughs> for the highlights I find. So let's imagine there's more light on maybe this waterfall here. So the light is kind of sparkling on this bit here. See how the sun is just getting that bit there and maybe it's hitting this bit here as well. And it's just bouncing through and just hitting certain areas. Maybe it's getting this area. well and it's splashing up there maybe it's hit this bit here as well and that's splashing so you can kind of pick where you want the uh, sunlight to go that's why I like painting the light in last because then I can choose where I want my light to go and then uh, what we can do at the bottom get sort of a, uh, a bluey greeny colour and I can start putting in some base colour for the water just for a little bit of white in there to 
don't want it to be too light. <laughs> a little bit of dark in there. Some movement in the water. I can have that flowing out there. You can put a bit of dark in some areas. Just wanted to dull some of it a little bit just to uh, give that shade there. to uh, add a bit of a rock right there as well. And down here I can add another bit of stuff for trees and things. Again, not much detail really. Can always add. If I wanted a bit of light, maybe I could add a few uh, bits where the sunlight might have got across. I think that looks quite good actually. I might stick a, uh, a branch. Have a branch just sort of going Going across, I don't know if you can see that, <laughs> it's quite dark. Might need lightening a little bit just so it can be seen. You don't have to do it that light. <laughs> it's just so the camera picks it up, really. I'll just do some downward strokes, just to indicate a few things coming off that. And I think I'm about done for this uh, illusion. <laughs> That's all painting is, isn't it? It's an illusion. It's an illusion. Quite like the idea of this sort of going. Maybe there's a bit that we managed to just go through. Just 
manages to get over the wall. enjoyed doing this, it's been fun, <laughs> I really have. But I think I'd better call this one, just putting some glints of water on on there and then uh, a little flicks of paint yeah quite like that I think I'll call that one finished I enjoyed myself there doing this water hope it's given you some ideas on how to paint a waterfall using a bit of black card and, and a few acrylic paints and uh, thanks very much for watching and I'll see you at another one cheers bye